This conference will now be recorded. Hello everyone and welcome to Pharma Elite's Theatre. We at Pharma Elite are back with a web series named Light Master Plan for GPAT 2021. Pharma Elite will be posting one video daily in the evening which will include five MCQs from all important topics which are going to be applicable for GPAT 2021. We have started this series because we want to develop a mindset for students while approaching questions in exam. If you want to get notification whenever such videos are posted on daily basis, just click on the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon because only when you click on the bell icon, you get a notification whenever a new video is posted. And most importantly, we also have our free WhatsApp group where daily five MCQs are posted for study purpose. We also post job openings and various news around it. If you want to get added in our free WhatsApp group, you just need to drop a WhatsApp message on this particular number mentioning your name, the year you're studying in, your college name, and the state your college belongs to. Team Pharma Elite is run by Niperians and ICTNs for future Niperians and ICTNs. So let us start with today's MCQs. So the first question is, which of the following isomeric butanol gives base peak at MZ31? And the options are butane-1-ol, butane-2-ol, 2-methylpropyl-2-ol and all of the above. So this question is from mass spectrometry and base peak means most intense peak, that is the tallest peak in mass spectra due to ions. It is the height of peak along the y-axis. We all know that molecular mass of butanol is 74 and here the fragmentation or ionization is based on alpha fission meaning fragmentation of molecule will take place on the bond linked to the alpha carbon and alpha carbon is the carbon that attaches to the functional group. Here it is a hydroxyl group. First let us start the, with the structures of each compound. So let us start with option C, 2-methylpropane-2-ol, which is a tertiary alcohol. So alpha carbon is attached to three methyl groups. So fragmentation can take place at any of the bond to give methyl radical of molar mass 15 and the remaining part of the molecule will give peak at 59, that is 15 subtracted from 74. Option B, Butane to all is a secondary alcohol. So fragmentation from alpha carbon will give methyl radical with molar mass of 29 and the remaining part of the molecule will give base peak at 45. That is 29 subtracted from 74. Option A, butane one all is a primary alcohol. So fragments from alpha carbon will give propyl radical with molar mass of 43 and the remaining part of molecule will give base peak at 31. That is 43 subtracted from 74. The correct answer is option A, butane one all which will give base peak at MZ value 31. Moving on to the second question, in a saturated solution of drug, one of the following condition is correct and the options are as follows. So for this question, let us first know some terms. Saturated solution is a solution that contains maximum amount of solute that is capable of being dissolved in a solution. Rate of crystallization is rate of formation of nuclei. Dissolution rate is the rate at which drug substance dissolves in a medium. Option A states that rate of crystallization is zero. This is true when dissolved concentration is zero. That is, there is no solute present in the solvent. Option B, rate of crystallization is lesser than rate of dissolution is true for unsaturated solution where a solution contains less than the maximum amount of solute that is capable of being dissolved. Option B, rate of crystallization is greater than rate of dissolution is true for supersaturated solution in which more solute is dissolved than necessary amount. Option C, rate of crystallization is equal to rate of dissolution. This condition is true for saturated solution. So the option is answer C. Third question is, which of the following is great limiting step for distribution of hydrophilic drugs? The options are as follows. Oops. 
So a rate limiting step is the slowest step. The distribution of hydrophilic drugs is expressed by noise whitney equation, which is the equation as shown. Here, dx by dt is the distribution rate of drug. A is the permeation constant and x is the amount of drug dissolved. So since the equation includes permeation constant, the answer is straightforward. Option A, rate of permeation. The next question is, Allidoxin can reactivate cholinesterase enzyme that has been inactivated by. And the options are carbamate anticholinesterase, organophosphate anticholinesterase, both carbamate and organophosphate anticholinesterase, or reversible anticholinesterase. So anticholinesterases are agents which inhibit cholinesterases and protect acetylcholine from hydrolysis. There are two active regions of acetylcholine esterases. One is the anionic site with glutamate and another is the steric site with serine and histidine. The carbamate adds to anionic site leaving the steric site free while the organophosphate adds to steric site leaving the anionic site free. Allidoxin is a drug having positively charged quaternary nitrogen, which attaches to an ionic site of acetylcholine esterase enzyme, then it binds to organophosphate, leading to the change in organophosphate conformation and loses binding of organophosphate with acetylcholine esterase enzyme. Therefore, paladoxin can deactivate cholinesterases enzyme that has been inactivated by organophosphate anticholinesterases. And the last question of the day is an emulsion within an emulsion can be designated as and the options are So basically, an emulsion is a mixture of two or more immiscible liquids where one liquid is dispersed in another. Emulsion can be of two types, that is single emulsion, which includes oil in water and water in oil emulsion. And the second type is double emulsion, which includes oil in water in oil and water in oil in water. These two are basically emulsions within an emulsion. So the answer is pretty straightforward. Option D, water in oil in water is designation of an emulsion within an emulsion. All the way students, stay tuned with Pharma Elite. Meet you all tomorrow evening again with set of next five MCQs. We will keep you posted and ensure that you all get ready for GPA 2021. For any inquiry for joining Pharma Elite for live webinars or test series, get in touch with us on even contact. Thank you very much. Good evening.